another Monday has rolled around. I have loads of little videos that I want to do. And I made a list of what I was going to start doing this morning, but my brain doesn't care. It's not interested. So it's late morning, so I'm going to get on with lunch. And to chat to you like this instead, because I'm pretty sure I can cope with making lunch and talking at the same time, if nothing else. I've been having lots of weird sleeping routines lately. Several times I've been, actually been woken up by my alarm and I don't like that. Normally I will be awake about half an hour before the alarm goes off and that gives me time to come round and I take a while to come round in the morning. So if I'm asleep and the alarm goes off and that wakes me up, it completely throws me. So, I think I slept quite heavily last night, had lots of very strange, scary dreams and things, and I've done that a lot the last couple of weeks. I think it's, um, it's probably mostly hormonal, <laughs> to be honest with you. I tend to get weird sleep patterns at certain times of the month, so to speak, and um, I'll give it a week or so and I'll hopefully I'll be alright again. Today for lunch I've just taken one of my pre-made stew type things out of the freezer. I defrosted that last night and I'm going to cook half of it up for lunch. I'm going to throw in some chopped ham and some kale that I've got in the fridge and that will be lunch. I just can't be bothered. I just want to eat something warm and nice. Um, I have decided... Ooh, peanut butter. I have decided to put a ban on the news. I stopped watching TV news years ago. I don't like the way it's presented. I don't like the way it's always treated like some kind of, I don't know, clickbait. I don't like anything about it. When I go and stay with my parents, my mum is an absolute GB news addict. And it's the most vile news thing I think I've ever seen. I don't like any of the news, but I find it particularly shouty and angry. And my mum gets really, really wound up by the things she hears on there and watches. Believes everything that she's told. And then I have to try and teach her how to look things up so that she can find the real stories. Because some of the stuff that she's believed has been awful. And I'm not saying that this is just GB News. All the news channels are like this. And a lot of the internet news is the same. I don't watch any news channels, particularly on like YouTube. I don't follow the news on social media. The only thing that I tend to do is twice a day, say morning and evening, I will skim read the headlines on the BBC News app and it's literally I just go down the headlines I don't read any of the stories it's just to get a feel for what's going on because you know a lot of people will say that um, uh, that the, the BBC News is biased in one way or another they're all biased in one way or another but um, I just skim read the headlines and then last night a headline came up and I know I've been reaching a point of I can't take any more of this because the news is just so horrific at the moment everything is awful everything is bad and me getting myself wound up and depressed about all that news doesn't change it because I can't stop the war in Gaza I can't stop the problems in Ukraine I can't make crime rates change um, I can't stop all the awful things that go on so there's no point. Uh, but last night I saw, there was one headline I saw as I skim read the BBC app and I just said enough's enough, I can't read any more of this. And it was the headline about the four boys between 12 and 14 who gang our word that you're not allowed to say on YouTube, a young girl. And I just thought, you know what, I can't, I can't even fill my head with this anymore. It's just horrible. Everything is just awful. So I put a ban on.
because I've clearly reached that point where I, I just can't take it anymore. It's filling my head with really awful stuff and I just don't need it right now. I just want to focus on getting into spring, doing the things I enjoy. And I just don't want it. It's not good for me. And I've done this before where I've put a ban on. And I'll ban it for, I don't even know how long, weeks, months. And if you're one of those people who gets too embroiled in what you read on the news, and bearing in mind, if you can do something about it, great, go and do something about it. But if you can't, and you're allowing all this information to weigh you down and mess with your, your mental well-being, cut it off. They design it like the news apps and things. It's, it's, um, they, they make it into an addiction so that you can't put it down. You have to keep reading. You have to absorb all this awfulness and this terrible information that doesn't improve your life and there's nothing you can do about these things so why do you need to fill your head with it because there are people suffering all around the world but if your mental health suffers as a result because you read about someone else's plight how is that helping anybody so there's my mess I'm gonna heat that up so yes um, we have now put a ban on the news. Can't take any more of it. That story was the final tipping point. Anyway, so that's my Monday, that's my Monday morning done. I haven't done Actually, I did do some construction stuff this morning. I've, I've knocked a few things off my list of small annoying to-dos. So that's that dealt with. Um, so yeah, I have started the week with some positives. Which includes saying I'm not going to watch the news anymore. Done. So if you're feeling like that, like the news is too depressing, consider putting it down. I'm just saying. Put it down. You will feel better for it. You know I'm right.